Hello everyone, so I'm going to show you guys how to add sound effects on parts buttons here in Chrome Standard. So let's, I'll show you guys what it sounds like without the sound, what it looks like without the sound, just for reference. There's no sound available on any of these buttons and I know you guys want to add the sound effect, like what we all see on Chrome Plus cards. So. All we have to do is make an embed, or you can actually share the embed with the other phones, like this one or this one. You can also make it hidden and make sure it's body end. Now we're gonna just go add script our script tags. Then based here on my um word documented tutorial here of how to add it, we just have to copy this part. Then paste it. Now you're gonna see document get element by ID, which is capital one, and it will affect to this one, which we don't want. So we have to go to the settings of our button and get the element ID. The element ID. Then we're just gonna change it here to buttons 01. Now we already have the command that when we click on this one then there will be a sound effect coming but we don't have the audio yet so what we're going to do is just get this audio id copy then paste it under now let's view the demo now when i click on Number one here, it's supposed to have a sound effect when we click on it. Now, you want to add the sound effect for the rest of the button. All you have to do is just copy and paste it and make sure to change the element ID. So this is for button number two. Then number three. And then number four. Make sure to save it. Now, when I added all of these codes, all of these buttons are expected to have a sound. So there's number one. And then you can see these three codes that we just added here on our embed, it's supposed to have a sound effect. Now, what if you guys want to have this image as a music player? Just copy this code. And then paste it here. Make sure to match the element ID by this image, which is image 01. Then, um, in some resource cards, they place this as sound. So when you click on it, it's going to just play this sound, which we don't want. We want it to play music. So you can just rename it to whatever you guys like. And just make sure to have this same code also and paste it. Make sure the audio ID is going to be the same as this one where you're going to want to play music. Now let's save it and I'll show you guys what it's supposed to be like. Now you can see it actually played the song. And then when I click on the buttons, it's also supposed to have a sound effect. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys found this very useful and feel free to send a message on my retro spring or through my DMs on Twitter if you have any questions. Thank you.